Step one of our nutrition care process is going to be nutrition assessment. So our assessment piece, we're getting more information about our client or our patient. Um, but our nutrition assessment is going to define the nutritional status of our client. Um, we're going to be doing this for, by determining their risk. Are they low risk, moderate risk, or high risk? We're going to be monitoring changes in their status. And we're going to be determining if or what um, interventions need to be taken. Now, how do we do this? Well, one of the ways that we get more information about what the client is eating is through several different types of basically obtaining dietary information. So we might do a diet history. Our diet history, um, this is going to be a review of a person's usual patterns of food selections and variables that determine food intake. So this might include diet changes, use of supplements, food intolerances. It might even include, you know, who usually does the grocery shopping for this um, person. Do they do it themselves? Do they usually cook? So more about eating patterns, maybe even eating behaviors a little bit. That's going to be our diet history. Now we do have a diet, like a food diary or a food record. And our food record is basically going to be a written record of exact amounts of foods and liquids that have been consumed within a specific period of time. So usually three to seven days. You might say, hey, give me two to three days during the week and one weekend day to get a good picture of your eating patterns and behaviors. So the client is like a diary, right? They're writing down what they're eating, hopefully very specifically what they're eating. Um, so it might also include time, place, what was happening while eating. I've even seen... Um, how they were feeling, you know, were they out with friends celebrating, were they depressed and sad? So if there's any kind of feelings connected with their eating habits, I've seen that in some food diaries as well. Um, our food diary or our food record is different than our 24 hour recall in that 24 hour recall is simply that. What have you eaten in the last 24 hours? And it just kind of gives you an idea of what they um, have eaten. So your food record or your food diary, uh, a lot of people won't be um, super compliant with that or not for very long, um, but your food re recall, usually most people can recall what they've eaten in the last 24 hours, and so that's a little bit um, easier to kind of just get some basic food history from them. Um, last, we have a food frequency list, and so this is basically going to be like a checklist of, you know, how many times a week do you eat vegetables or um, it's usually more with like large groups or maybe even studies that you use a fruit food frequency list. Um, but you can use it in individual counseling as well. So data that is collected to determine how often a specific food or foods are consumed, often used in a community setting. So that is our nutrition assessment, um, its purpose. So we're defining nutritional status and risk, monitoring changes, and determining interventions. And then our um, obtaining diet history, some different methods that we use for that.